Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here back at Furman Mini in Palm Harbor, Florida, because guess what? We have the refreshed for 2020. This is the Mini Clubman S. So let's talk a little bit about Mini. For decades, they really made a name for themselves. That very small, iconic car started all in England. There's been some changes that have taken place. They're now owned by BMW, but you know what? Each and every one of these minis still has that great personality, character, and part of that culture going back to the original. For 2020, the Clubman model, which if you know your minis, you would know that the Clubman is famous for what? The barn, those barn style doors that open up in the back. It's been refreshed for 2020, and it's also received an all new transmission. For the first time, no longer an eight speed automatic, a seven speed DCT dual clutch transmission. So let's go ahead, go over this 2020 Mini Clubman S, because the S means what? Power, super power, because there's a turbocharger with more power underneath the hood. But let's see what's different for 2020. All new for 2020, refresh, we have a new style in the headlight design. Now what I'm happy to say is that it still keeps that same Mini character, but brings it into the 21st century with the style and the daytime running lamp. Also the gloss black around the headlight housing is new for 2020. As we drop down, you got these beautiful fog lamps and functional side air curtains. As we come across the rest of the front end of the business, this is all new. This is an all new grill. Love the S badging, nice bright red. What's interesting is that most of it is blocked off for aerodynamic purposes, but at least they did refresh it. You got the iconic mini grill, I am zonking this. Can't they make this functional once again? This used to be functional. That hood scoop would be nice if it was functional. It looks good, so I know why it's there, but just make it functional. As we drop down, you get a nice built-in lower lip spoiler. You got functional ducting that really is gonna work, so that's a nice thing. And then when we go up onto the bonnet, remember that's what they call the hood in England, really nice racing stripes. Super clean, gives the car great personality. My only zonk is I don't like where they put the jets for the windshield washers. This needs to be hidden somewhere behind the bonnet, but very, very clean. And I think they did just enough to evolve the overall design. Now, as we come around the bend here, you can see how they take the flat black from the front, bring it into the fender treatment, very nicely done. These are all new 18 inch wheels, brushed aluminum, gun metal gray, check this out. Yeah, no, they're not spinners. What they have is like on the sister company, BMW, they have those self-centering mini uh, wheel bearing covers. Very, very nice caps. Keeps that mini name nice and straight so everybody could just love it. You can see you got ventilated rotors, nice size. Obviously, we're gonna be bringing you that John Cooper Works edition here at Furman Mini probably in another month or so. You'll see increased wheel size, brake size, caliper size, the whole nine yards. Into the fender work, remember, this is still the bonnet. This is all gonna go up. Fender treatment, I love the mar side marker light. You got the S badging. And I also like this functional side uh, air scoop as well. Very, very nicely done. And I love the way that it's brought into the design of the lower portion of the fender into the door. All new for 2020, side mirrors. If you notice, they took that overall round design and kind of squared it off a little bit. Love the color, how it matches with the racing stripes up onto the hood, onto the roof. Blacked out eight pillars, full panoramic roof. Looks great on this car. You got the, gro the chrome door handles, little bit of a sill, it's just a little bit extension down there, but very, very clean all the way back. Another thing that's a mini thing that you know it's mini is they take the chrome trim. That chrome trim goes all the way around the car, even in, on the front end of the business by the hood. So we follow the chrome trim to the tail end of the business. So we got updated LED taillights. All of them get LED taillights. It's got the Union Jack. If you're wondering, well, what the heck is that? Is that my Uncle Jack? No, the Union Jack is the British flag integrated into the taillight design. Very nicely done. It's got the dual doors. We'll show you how those open in, in a few minutes with the chrome handles, the Clubman badging. I love the chrome dual exhaust, one on each side. Real functioning, simple, clean, flat black with these little flat black bumperettes. It looks like a mini. Let's go ahead, pop that bonnet and see what's powering this one. All right, guys, the bonnet is popped on our 
Clubman S. Lots of black plastic, not a lot of room to really do much of anything. But if you're wondering, well, what about performance? So that's a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 189 horsepower, 207 foot pounds of torque, zero to 60, 6.9 seconds with that new seven speed DCT transmission, top speed 142 miles an hour. It weighs around 3,300 pounds. If you're wondering about fuel economy, 25 in the city, 27 on the highway. The one that I'm waiting for anxious, anxiously is the John Cooper Works. Remember, for the first time on the Clubman, you're gonna have 301 horsepower. I'm sure you hear the sirens. That is to signify that the John Cooper Works is coming for the month of October. So stay tuned to Radies Rise. But since we're here, let me close the bonnet. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up and see what does this Clubman sound like. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Clubman S, that mini Clubman S. I know you're probably saying, Joe, I like this one. It's actually smaller than the Countryman, but larger than the Mini Cooper. How much is it? The way that this one sits and is optioned for 2020 is right under $40,000. It's $39,000 and change for the MSRP. One thing to remember is, is that there are some new changes. Let's go to the door panels. I like what's going on. You have this nice textured material that's gloss black really looking good very simple armrest but i like the differentiation of the color there with that light gray color really makes it stand out and pop very very nicely i like the silver trim around the speaker cover and that nice c-shaped um, handle to open up the door typical mini now when you get to the dash this has the mini yours package that's where that color combo is coming so you can get different color combos with the light gray and and whatnot depending on how you choose it soft black material i love this texture material you do have the gloss black which is going to have fingerprints but don't touch it here's that seven inch display navigation of course it's all touchscreen you can go back to home look how clear and crisp the graphics are i really like how simple it is to navigate get into your vehicle settings. You can see how the LED lighting changes around it. We could go down to our navigation. Very, very simple to use. And then of course you get that iDrive controller, which I'll show you in a second. Here's the radio uh, buttons, AC, dual climate control. I'm liking the light gray with the mini yours. And it's soft, look at this, very soft touch. You got your rally car style switches, start, stop. You could go into your um, sport mode. There's your mini Clubman just rolled up. Like I said, dual climate, auto start, stop feature could easily be disabled. You do have those 12 volt plugs, which I hate. So I am zonking that, but you have a 12 volt and a USB, nice little pocket down here, two cup holders. This is gonna be controlling the all new seven speed DCT, dual clutch transmission. I like the red racing stripes and the red contrast stitching. This is that iDrive controller. So you could go in here and you see how it actually changes what's going on your infotainment setup so you can go into navigation i press down we go into map let's see what the map is let's see where we're at there we are right there that's us so we're going to zoom in and there you can see where we are at very nicely done as we come back to the rest of this i do like the gloss black it's in a good place where it's not going to get fingerprints softer armrest we lift it up we got a place for your phone lift it up again there's a nice little cubby with more USB jacks in there. And then these seats are a thing of beauty. New for 2020, I love this stitch work going on. They are heated, but they're not ventilated. So that's gonna be a zonk for me. Um, other than that, very, very nice looking setup. You do have your panoramic sunroof, as you can see, really, really nicely done. And an auto dimming mirror with lots of character. But why don't you get on over to the business side? There's lots going on behind this wheel. All right, guys, business end behind the wheel of the Mini Clubman. You do, like I said, have that electric assist, which is great, lumbar, and you have two memory settings, which is wonderful. Seating position, one thing that Mini does so well, plenty of headroom. What's really cool is, is that you get double the sun visors. You get the side, 
You also get your traditional setup, only in a Mini, not in your other cars. Key fob, you can't definitely lose it because you know it's for your Mini. Turn it around, there's your buttons, nicely done. It's got a nice weight to it. Steering wheel, this is a thing of beauty. I absolutely love it. Love the two pieces of leather that are stitched together and then you got the gray contrast stitching all the way around. The Union Jack that's been blacked out, really nicely looking. Mini logo there, you have flat black. You got these large paddles. Look at the size of these paddles to go up and down that seven speed DCT transmission. And then what I really love about the minis is how the dash looks like it's right out of a rally car. You got your speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, and then you have your information that you could toggle through in that center display. And you have a heads up display in this vehicle. So there's a lot going on in this Clubman S especially with the sound system and whatnot. But why don't we go ahead, check out that back seat and see how much room you have in a Mini Clubman. All right, guys, back seat time in the Mini Clubman. It's unbelievable how Mini is able to get space from such a small vehicle. I think there's some larger vehicles that need to learn a lesson. Tons of headroom, love the, the panoramic sunroof. I also love the way the leather all the way around. Remember, this is from that Mini Your selection. You have different color combinations to choose from. I like the way it's cut out in the back. That's a very nice touch. You got a nice little pocket here, one on each side. Look at the stitch work. These seats are a thing of beauty, absolute beauty. Armrests, nicely done. Check this out, boom. Cup holders, just like a BMW. I wonder why, huh? Two rear AC vents, and yes, thank you, Mini. You have two USBs, so it is possible for small things for, I think, big things that come in small packages. But let's go ahead, check out that cargo area and see how usable it is. All right, guys, time to check out the boot on this club. If you're wondering what the hell is the boot, that is the trunk area. That's what they call it in England. It's got those iconic doors. What's nice is, look at that, hydraulic struts, open up, boom. Look at all that room, and that's even with the seats up. That's why nobody's doing it better than many than taking a small area and really maximizing the space. What I'm gonna do here is there's a switch right at the top of the seat. We fold that down nice and flat. I'm gonna reach on over, do the other side. Look at that, that's ridiculous. That is a lot of room from a small vehicle and the driving experience is really what this is about. Plus the personality, great personality. But why don't we go ahead, let me close these doors up. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this new 2020 Clubman S for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Mini Clubman S. We're pulling away from Furman Mini here in Palm Harbor. Very, very comfortable inside. I love the seats, especially that leather material and that new stitch work. Very, very smooth, very quiet in here. And I don't know many cars that have such a direct feel when it comes to steering. Very, very nicely done. I'm gonna go ahead, do a little acceleration test on throttle, off the line. Nice and nice positive shifts coming from the new seven speed DCT transmission. There's some sound being pumped in here. I like the heads up display and visibility is a, is a breeze in these minis. I don't care if it's a Mini Cooper, the Countryman, the Clubman, the John Cooper works. They're, they're all really, really great. I do have it in sport mode. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in manual shift mode and uh, see how that works as we accelerate out of this side street here. But uh, definitely all the, the mixture of materials here feels really, really good as we roll away on throttle. Using the paddles on the back of the steering wheel. Very, very smooth. Is it as fast as a John Cooper Works? No. But get ready for the John Cooper Works Clubman because guess what? That's going to have, yes, 301 horsepower and all wheel drive. So that is another thing. Remember, this is front wheel drive, uh, but still very, very responsive very good steering the thickness the material use all feels really really wonderful i like the the brake pedal feedback is great um just i really love these these minis all right guys another acceleration test i'm gonna drop it down to first on throttle 
So with the seven speed DCT, the shifts are very, very quick, very capable, back on throttle. On the brakes, downshift. Very nice. The suspension really does a great job of not being too aggressive, um, but yet it's firm enough to where you're able to take the turns really nicely. I do like the sound that's being pumped in here. I know it's not the actual sound of the car, but it sounds good. It really, really does. All right, guys, so definitely this Clubman has very, very smooth, very easy to drive, even in traffic, and the seven speed does a great job getting you through uh, just your everyday driving, which is really, really nice. Um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave you a nice roundabout feeling of what this Clubman S is all about. We're gonna get back to Furman Mini and wrap this up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, another wonderful time here at Furman Mini. I definitely gotta thank Derek and the whole crew for allowing us access to these 2020s as soon as they get here. Stay tuned for the Clubman that John Cooper works Clubman S that's gonna be coming very soon. But what can I say? With a Mini, you're getting a lot of usability, a lot of space, and a car that handles almost like no other. What's also awesome is you're gonna get that four year bumper to bumper warranty if you are concerned about things happening down the road. But if these are the types of hot, little hatches that we have, even though this doesn't have a hatch technically, um, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, takes you right to Spreadshirt. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee, sweating like a sun god out here in the heat. Thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.